very hard and you have to, patients understand they have a very strong vascular knowledge. So they think everything is due to blood vessel disease. They know that diabetes is at risk of heart attack, at risk of stroke, of foot problems, and they think that foot problems are caused by vascular disease. Whereas in many, they do have vascular disease, but neuropathy is more important. And they can't understand what neuropathy is. So we have to explain to them. For example, um, some patients, uh, even though we tell them they've got neuropathy, they fill in a questionnaire, they just check, I'm at risk of foot problems due to blood vessel disease. They think, my foot is warm. I can't have any problem. The foot is warm. can't have any problem because if it was vascular disease, the foot would be cold. So they think, my foot doesn't hurt. It's warm. Why is it? Because I've got neuropathy. And they think, that's great. No need to worry. Off they go and come back with a foot ulcer. So it's difficult to explain. We have to explain in lay terms. As I said in my talk, don't say, well, the nerves are dead. Say, well, it's like a light bulb with a wire coming to it. If the wire is broken, the light goes out. So you can use uh, examples such as that to help patients understand that the connection between their foot and the brain is somehow not working. So they cannot appreciate what is going on in their own foot. It's a hard job, but it has to be done. As I said before, I can't prove to you that education reduces ulcers. We all think it does, but nobody has actually proven it in a trial. <music> Diabetes is a family disease. It just doesn't just affect the one member. If you had type 1 diabetes, then the people at home would need to know what to do if you have a hypo, if your blood sugar goes too low what to do if you, know, if you found collapsed, what to do to help you prevent complications. All the complications are silent in their early stages, so a regular eye exam or photograph, regular screening for kidney disease. So they all need to help. Diet, you know, maybe somebody else is cooking at home. They need to know what sort of diet the patient should have. So it can't escape involving the whole family. So if one member has it, the rest of the family needs to know. It shouldn't change in, in theory. The patient may, because we've shown, uh, for example, that neuropathy is associated with depression quite commonly, and they may need help. They may need to help to realize the patient who gets up and walks and, and they feel unstable. And they think that people think I'm drunk, but I can't because I can't feel. So my walking has changed. This kind of understanding is very important, and to give understanding and empathy to help them cope with the problem, I think that's the key thing. Shoes, uh, of course, play an extremely important part. They can cause ulcers, but good shoes can prevent ulcers. Uh, and you don't need expensive made-to-measure shoes for most patients. You just need what we call an extra-depth shoe. The patient frequently has this clawing of the toes, so the tops of the toes can rub it against the top of the shoe. You need a good depth in the toe box and one that fits properly. People with neuropathy will invariably buy shoes that are too small because they've got a lot of sensory loss. So they need more pressure to be able to feel the fit of the shoe. So they will buy a shoe that's too small. And you tell the patient, explain them to that, that to them, then they'll understand. Always have your feet measured when you're buying shoes and not pointed ones. If you've got neuropathy and you haven't got vascular disease, I'll say these are your feet, they're healthy feet. But the connection is cut so you can't feel them very well. If you look after them, check them each day, wear sensible shoes, don't walk barefoot, check your shoes before you put them on. I've found numerous articles in patient shoes that have caused ulcers because they could not feel they were there. They're your feet, they're healthy, but you can't feel them properly. If you look after them, you should be fine. I always say there's no evidence that we need to educate everybody with diabetes to the tune of, the, of, of those who have neuropathy. 
for example, someone young like you, if you had diabetes, you probably have got no foot problems. I'm, I'm not going to tell you not to go walking on the beach because you're not going to take any notice. So we have to be sensible. People with healthy feet need to do what we all need to do you know, with hygiene and washing and keeping the nails trimmed. Uh, those with neuropathy need more care. So I think it's understanding that if you haven't got neuropathy, if you look after your diabetes, try and keep the blood sugars as good as you can, then the chances of getting neuropathy are less.